and welcome, friends. Today we will tell you about the pressure measuring device. We will see in the video what is pressure and how do we measure it. So, let's get started. First of all, let us understand the concept of pressure. Pressure is a physical quantity in which particles of a liquid or gas impact is measured. This is developed in a tank, in a pipeline or in any closed system. Now coming to pressure measuring instruments. The most commonly used tool is a pressure gauge. It is a device that gives us the pressure reading. The pressure gauge has a needle which shows the reading in units of pressure. Its units are PSI means pounds per square inch kilograms per square centimeters or also known as ksc kpa means kilopascals bar and some others usually in pressure gauge there is a borden tube which measures the pressure both pressure and vacuum can be measured with a pressure gauge there are three types of gauges on the base to measure the pressure pressure gauge vacuum gauge and compound gauge in pressure gauges there is also a differential pressure gauge which measures the pressure difference between two points because this gauge measures the difference of pressure so it is known as differential pressure gauge but the pressure gauge isn't just an option instrumentation also consists of other instruments that can measure pressure for example pressure transmitter which converts the pressure into electrical signal. There are also two types in this. Pen type, smart pressure transmitter. Transmitters use a strain gauge, which changes its electrical properties when the pressure is increased or decreased. Apart from this, variable capacitance principle is also used in these. These pressure transmitters are very versatile and have high accuracy and sensitivity. They transmit the electrical signal to a remote location. The pressure gauge cannot do this. Pressure gauge cannot transmit the readings. Through this we can monitor the pressure readings and send to the control room. Or pressure readings can be sent to a controller. The next option is the pressure switch. It is used for on-off control. When the pressure crosses a preset level, the switch turns on or off. This is very useful when we have to take alert or action at specific level of pressure. Next is differential pressure transmitter. These transmitters measure the pressure difference between two points and also transmit the readings. So friends, these were some tools from which we can measure the pressure. Every device comes with its own unique features and its case. Today we looked at what pressure is and how we measure it in instrumentation. I hope this video is informative for you. Thanks and see you in the next video. Take care and stay curious.